Welcome to the Science Kid. I am your host, Quinn Friedman, and today's episode is on growth. Now we all know that we keep growing as we get older until we hit a certain age. But our cells aren't growing. They keep dividing in a process called the cell cycle. During the cell cycle, cells reproduce DNA and eventually separate this DNA to two separate sides of the cell. But today, we aren't going to be talking about the whole cell cycle because you would be here for a really long time. We are going to be talking about the last process in the cell cycle, cytokinesis. First off, the scientific definition of cytokinesis is the process in which the cytoplasmic content of a cell is divided into two new daughter cells. Before cytokinesis, the process mitosis creates an equal amount of chromosomes on each side of the cell. Chromosomes are little thread-like structures made of nucleic acid and proteins carrying the genetic information of the cell. When cytokinesis occurs, each cell needs an equal amount of chromosomes. However, other organelles and molecules don't need to be distributed evenly. But how does cytokinesis work? Cytokinesis actually differs between plant and animal cells. Inside animal cells, a contractile ring constricts the middle of a dividing cell. This contractile ring is kind of like a string put on the center of a water balloon. Also, a protein called myosin helps the contractile ring do its job. Once the contractile ring pinches together, the cell splits into two. Each new cell has an equal amount of chromosomes and a pretty even amount of the cytoplasmic content of the cell. However, plant cells have a cell wall that doesn't bend, so they need a completely different process. In a plant cell cytokinesis, an organelle called the Golgi apparatus releases these little membrane sacs called vesicles. Because the vesicles are made of the same stuff as the plant cell's cell membrane, the vesicles combine themselves with the cell membrane and form two separate cells. However, isn't there now two cells in the same cell wall? Well, once the cell membrane is formed, the vesicles that are packed with cell wall ingredients form a new cell wall, and each new plant cell separates. I hope you enjoyed this episode of The Science Kid. If you did enjoy it, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, science can always be fun.